my channel so today we're going to do one of my cake orders together i'm gonna to get paid but you guys should just watch <laughs> so if you're coming for the first time welcome and if this is not your first welcome back and if you haven't liked and subscribed and so today we're going to do a kit kat and skittles cake it's a vanilla red velvet cake we're just going to cover it in kit kats all around and skittles on the top so it's gonna be a lot of fun so let's get to it okay so guys when i prep let me tell you about the biggest problem i usually have so usually when clients send me a picture of what to make like an inspiration picture it's supposed to be an inspiration picture it's almost impossible to do an exact copy of a picture you sent me some people even send me like not an actual picture but like a computer generated image it is impossible it's almost like trying to copy someone else's notes when you're in secondary school of course you're writing the same thing but you have to write it in your own and writing I don't know if you guys get me anywho so she's not going to get exactly the picture she sent me because <laughs> some things went wrong but <laughs> she's going to get a really nice cake <laughs> okay so the first thing we're doing right now is we're torting the cake which means i already sliced it in layers and then i'm putting buttercream in between the layers and if you notice i'm not spreading the buttercream to the edge because i don't want it spilling out it's still spilled out anyways And you can as well decide to like fill your cake with something else. You can fill it with jam or some card, maybe lemon card or any food card you make or you buy. You can fill it with chocolate, but you know, Nigerians like regular stuff. So <laughs> normally I fill my cakes with just buttercream, except the person like gives me a special request or something. So now after doing that, if you notice I trimmed it, the reason I trimmed it was because like the edges were too brown plus it keeps your cake aligned if you trim the sides you can like cut out the caramelized parts of the cake and leave just a yummy gooey inside so now we're covering with buttercream and what i like to do is now we're just doing a crumb coat which means we're trying to keep the crumbs of the cake in this layer so it doesn't move into the next one so we're going to do a light creaming and then put it in the freezer for about maybe 30 minutes or less okay so now it's time to unbox our chocolate the best part <laughs> i don't know watching this part made me calm for some reason <laughs> and i didn't eat any because i have self-control <laughs> that's what they tell myself <laughs> any who's i bought about i bought 10 um packet 10 packets of this chunky Kit Kat. And they had two inside, so that's like 20 pieces. And then I bought like four packets of the Skittles. And I actually measured my um, cake before going to the supermarket to buy this chocolate. But for some reason, it still wasn't enough. So you guys are going to see what I did. I had to make do or like improvise. So I did something, Shaq, because I can't go back to that store and go buy chocolate and take another taxi. Okay, so now I bought our cake out of the freezer and then we're adding the last coat this last buttercream coat is just for you to have something to stick to and as well as it creates it provides enough cream for the person who's going to eat the cake to enjoy it better because the cream coat is too little so okay so i'm going to add some buttercream around it and i'm going to use my smoothener the smoothener is the holy grail believe me <laughs> It does everything like it does half of the work for you if you're working on buttercream so if you're working with buttercream or you plan to work with buttercream buy a smoothener like this it is really good and it helps you align your cake so it's not like slanty or bent okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chocolate all around it and when I got home I realized I made a mistake measuring my cake it was 40 it was um, 49 centimeters all around 69 centimeters but i had just 60 centimeters of Kit Kat, so i had like nine extra centimeters that had like nothing to fill the space 
so i had to like you know <laughs> improvise usually when people order stuff and the cake looks slightly different sometimes something went wrong and that is not like completely a bad thing sometimes things go wrong so you can discover better ways of doing the same thing so the cake car wasn't enough and i couldn't go back to the store because the cake was almost due so i had to improvise you guys are going to see what i did so usually i think that's one of the reasons why like some of my clients complain when i make a cake that is slightly different from the picture the scent plus expecting me to stick to one particular thing and like you can't have your own original design because all you do is copy other people's designs and you can't have your own special touch if you're trying to copy exactly the same thing they sent to you i don't know if you guys get i appreciate my customers don't get me wrong okay now so what i'm simply doing is arranging the, the skittles the air side up like i think every skittle has an s written on top of it so and i arrange them in <laughs> like the rainbow color <laughs> so <laughs> i think it looks stunning okay so i had to fill this part with skittles because there was nothing to put there and then my plan is to make it look like like the skittles are pouring out of the skittle packet so what i did was i took a skewer and like put it in the middle of um a fondant that i rolled like into a cylindrical shape and then stuck it into the cake so now that's some white chocolate already melted just regular white chocolate the reason is it helps me seek the skittles to the fondant when it dries it's going to stay firm and normal so what i'm doing is i'm pouring i'm sticking kittles on the board so it looks like it is pouring out i don't know if you guys get me but um, i hope it looks like it looks in my head to you guys <laughs> okay so um, this is our final result <laughs> i hope you learned a lot and you loved it <laughs>